Entertainer Adam Carolla frequently addresses today's cancel culture and the seemingly widespread chipping away at the First Amendment. His documentary, No Safe Spaces, examines this challenge to free speech on college campuses. I spoke with Carolla in Los Angeles about his latest book, I'm Your Emotional Support Animal, Navigating Our All-Woke, No-Joke Culture. I just kind of try to figure out which way the wind is blowing and then I write my books and my jokes and my commentary sort of based on things that uh, either have happened, are happening, or going to happen. So you'll read stuff in the book, like it's in the book, which is we're gonna cancel Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima, except for that was written six months before they canceled Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. So if you kind of have your ear to the ground and your antennas facing true north, you'll start feeling and hearing things happening before they they happen. And that's that's kind of my that's what's in the book. What is the value of knowing it if you can't, if you disagree with it, stop it or change the course of it? I would say take something like diversifying your portfolio. And I'm not talking about your stocks and bonds, but I understood which way the wind was blowing in Hollywood over a decade ago. And the reason I make documentaries and we're sitting in one of my warehouses where I do podcasting and the studios that I built. And like I was watching uh, Rachel Maddow the other day and she started a show, she did eight minutes about it, a typo that came out of the White House that he said, you know, he didn't say Norway, he said Normay. And she just kept going, Normay doesn't even exist, and this and the other. And I thought, there's plenty of stuff to get to, but this is a typo. Why so much time on the typo? But then I write books, and I travel, and I do stand-up, and I do. is because I understood, I didn't know if there was going to be a place for me in a traditional Hollywood model doing a sitcom or, or, or whatever format. I knew I liked to speak my mind. I knew that my ideas did not comport with many other people in Hollywood's. And I suspected I'd be unable to earn a living if we got to where this is going, which is where we are now. So, but you can't cancel culture me. I own the building and you can't, you know, you can try, but I make the docs, I write the books, I make the films. I'm, I live outside of the Hollywood world and I, that was intentional. You have the right to remain silent. Looking at no safe spaces, you have liberals and conservatives agreeing about the value of free speech and looking at the, some of the outrageous behavior that's happened. But what kind of reception has that gotten and what's your response to that? Well, I think the people who went into it with a preconceived notion of not wanting to like it those people have sort of made it into a self-fulfilling prophecy where I told you it was, you know, right-wing propaganda or, or whatever it was. There's no free speech for fascists. Um, I think anyone who watched it, who entered from a neutral kind of balance, open posture, which is, oh, what is this? I would like to consume it. They probably walked away with a completely different uh, point of view or, or opinion. So like many things in our society, it's been kind of predetermined by whichever side you're on to either embrace it or reject it before it's been sampled, which is not what we're looking for, I think, as a society, but it's definitely where we're at. Corolla's No Safe Spaces is out now and features comedian Tim Allen and former Obama advisor Van Jones, among others.